Juliana. Good morning. A little hard to give a proper good morning, but we'll try to find a moment here. Joanne Hep Trails, baby. <laughs> We awoke in Bly, and after another fabulous breakfast, headed straight for the ferry across the Galon Estuary on our way to the city of Bordeaux. And there, 5,000 miles as the crow flies from home, we met a couple who lived only five miles away from us in Denver. Good morning. So we're on the ferry, and we've just met this wonderful couple. They're cycling as well. They're touring. And uh, if you could tell us a little bit about yourself. Absolutely. I'm Neil. Neil. Uh, this is Karen. We're both from Thornton, Colorado. We're on our way to Bordeaux right now. Nice. It's pretty surprising because we, we're in line for the ferry. We start talking, we realize we can all speak English, and we realize we're from the same town, so <laughs> small world. So how long have you been on the road? This is day four for us. Day four, uh, okay. We did three days in Seville before this. Ah, Tomorrow we okay. fly out to Madrid to finish off three nights and then nice. back to work in Denver. Nice, yeah. nice. What made you guys come to Bly of all places? We purchased a solo bike tour. It was an organized route. The company takes our bags from point A to point B to point C, so we just have to ride and get there. And, and so they're they're taking your bags to Bordeaux. They're taking yes. our bags to okay. Bordeaux. Yes. So there are no other people with you. You're not part of a group. Sure. You're on your own. That's excellent. That's why I've always kind of avoided these group rides because we like having our own time. Exactly. But it sure would be nice to have all the luggage transported. That's very smart. Yeah. That's yeah. wonderful. <laughs> It sounds like a viable way to go. It certainly We does. need to rethink this whole thing. Yes, we do. <laughs> We're learning as we go. Because <laughs> look at their bags. Oh, there's a bag, one little light bag, probably enough for a, like a rain jacket. And there's our, like it takes us, it takes us all afternoon just to unload these things, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and the extra weight. That's yeah, right. and the That's extra right. weight, yeah. Well, sounds good. You guys have a great time in Bordeaux. I'm sure yes. you will. I've heard nothing but great things yes. about it. Thank you for sharing your adventures with us. And yeah. Nice to meet you. And uh, au revoir. By the time we reached the far side, the gray skies had lifted, and we found ourselves cycling beneath a luxurious cloudscape. Boy, that's some gorgeous clouds, isn't it? Yeah. Check out this uh, tower up here, huh? Yeah, it's it's a steeple unlike any I think I've ever seen. time remembering these names. Our morning's ride took us past one fabulous wine chateau after another, ever deeper into the beautiful region known as Bordeaux, France's largest producer of wine, which is really saying something. What a fabulous morning. We crossed the ferry across the River Garonne or the Bay of Bordeaux or whatever it's called. Still can't see it on the map. Beautiful sky in all directions. This this morning, just a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Good morning. Good morning, baby. Beautiful out here. It is gorgeous. Wow, it's lovely. Day. It's perfect. The sky is so artistic. Yeah, it is. They were saying it was going to rain uh, all of today for a while. 
than they said only part of today. And then it slowly evaporated into nothing. We were gonna do a rest day in Bordeaux, but I think we'll put that off for a couple of days since we're supposed to get a big bout of rain. And we always try to time our rest days to rain days. Looking lovely this morning, baby. Why, thank you. <laughs> this life certainly agrees with me. I agree, I feel so good these days. Just physically feel great. Doing this just makes me feel so alive. Yeah. It's truly the best. We could just get a couple more hours of sleep every day, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Stayed in a really lovely hotel last night. The hostess was great. Got on the ferry, realized they had the key. Called them, they said, no, nah, just leave it with the uh, pay station on the ferry boat. They said, well, we'll pick it up, it's no big deal. Just love the casual, easy-going way of things around here. There's so much trust. There's a lot of trust. Yeah, it's a great village. You know? Yeah, it village is. mentality. It is. Speaking of villages, here's another beauty coming up. Beautiful vineyards of Bordeaux. It's vineyards everywhere. Just really in the heart of Bordeaux. And uh, God, we had some great wine last night. Oh my God, from the Italian de Rouge winery, I believe. I almost can't wait every night for the next bottle of gorgeous wine. Fresh, locale, beautiful wine. Sunday morning and the church bells are ringing. Viticulture was introduced into the area by the Romans in the first century, and wine has been produced here ever since. We can credit Eleanor of Aquitaine for spreading the word about Bordeaux wine back in the 12th century, introducing it to her husband, King Henry II of England. Sweaty day today, isn't it? It is. It feels like it wants to break open in a storm, but I don't think it's going to. Now we're catching a couple of raindrops here and there, very few. Who knows what this day will bring. Today we associate Bordeaux with red wines, although for centuries it was known for whites. In the late 1800s, an infestation nearly destroyed the region's grapes until pest-resistant rootstock from American vines were grafted onto the native vines. The reds here are mainly blends, including Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Malbec, which although known more as an Argentinian wine, originally comes from the Bordeaux region. You know, it's amazing how much of France is suburbs. It reminds you of strip malls and urban sprawl that you see in America. A lot of the same stuff. We entered the city of Bordeaux in the afternoon along a wide and well-used bike path that brought us into the heart of the city along a graceful arc of the River Garonne. <laughs> Here in Bordeaux, decided to try to borrow a cafe table to uh, have our lunch, which is like some canard sausage and some cheese that Juliana picked up. Good loaf of French bread. And we're gonna have it overlooking the Garonne River. We have some amazing truffle cheese. This thing is heaven in your mouth. And some uh, canard, some duck sausage, and a little bit of a spicier cheese, not sure what it is. Got some Fresh whole grain, bread. Whole grain artisanal bread. Whole grain bread, yes, yes. Makes for a great little lunch. Yes, a nice cafe au lait. Life is good. All right, we're on. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And look at this field. Right view of the river. Well fed, we continued on to our hotel near the train station, pausing to admire and cheer on a bicycle rally to improve the city's cycling infrastructure. Fight for your rights, people. Once we got settled into our room, we headed down the stairs and out into the city as evening fell to stretch our legs, enjoy the sights and the vibe of the city, and perhaps most importantly, eat. A little change of pace tonight. Doing Lebanese, got some baba ganoush and warma poulet and a mixed grill. It's wonderful, beautiful. 
Wine is from the Pakal Valley, yes. Very nice. Leaving Bordeaux. Busy, I don't know what it is, Sunday, I guess. I think it's Sunday. Sunday morning. Got a 40 miler, 42. It's a beautiful morning. Still got probably three good days of riding before we look to see a major storm system coming in. Lovely views over the river. We just crossed over the River Garonne. Morning, Juliana. Morning. A little hard to give a proper good morning, but we'll try to find a moment here. Joanne Hep Trails, baby. Trails. Just little glimpses of the River Garonne through the trees. Got kind of a, you know, not a very beautiful little stretch here, but a great stretch of uh, road to get us out of Bordeaux. Nice and wide and traffic free. Thank you, French. Appreciate the bike trails, the bike path, the bicycle infrastructure. We watched a uh, bicycle rally last evening off for trying to expand the bicycle infrastructure. But I thought, yeah, y'all have it a lot better than we do, say, in Denver. That's for sure. Lots of bike paths everywhere you go. Right, riding along a rail trail now for the next 47 kilometers. Very narrow. We just spoke with a gentleman who was from the rally last night who's promoting the cause to widen the trail and to improve bicycle infrastructure in the Bordeaux area. So it is a very narrow trail, but it's paved and quite lovely. And I think we've been on rail trails here in Europe, but they're not usually referred to as rail trails. They're just part of a trail system. They use whatever they can, roads, trails, uh, rails, canals, you know. Yeah, you can tell this has got all the markings of an old railroad and uh, should keep it flat for a little while. We've got a fair amount of climbing at some point today, according to Kamut. Couple of muskrats here on the trail, finding little bits to eat. You're okay. No one's gonna get you. There's nothing to worry about. Beautiful September morning here on the rail trail outside of Bordeaux. Love and life. We enjoyed this rail trail, the quiet, the gentle hills up and down, but it's worth noting that the rail trails here are usually part of larger routes, just one ingredient that make up something much larger. In the States, rail trails are destinations in themselves, but the U.S. would be wise to incorporate other routes into their trail systems, like the quiet back roads, as much of Europe does. The old train station. They don't look like the train stations in the U.S., which have a very distinctive look. Yeah, we're getting some of that climbing in for sure. Slowly but surely. God, this is a pretty trail, isn't it? Gorgeous riding. Just pleasant as can be. Birds everywhere. You get these little cool moments in the forest and then you kind of start to chill off and then you get into the sun and it feels so nice. Lovely. Yeah. One of the nice things about riding the rail trails is that they take you on a journey of history with all the old bridges, tunnels, and railroad engineering. Looks like they're gonna try to restore those train cars. Oh, I like the design of this tunnel. Yeah. Kind of a spade shape. Hello! So well lit. And you know, every rail trail I've ever been in, you go through the tunnels and it's just chunky and wet and drippy. And this is just clean as a whistle. I'm glad Kamut routed us this way. Seems a little out of our way, but uh, you know, it's been such a pleasant ride and great countryside. Bonjour. Beautiful. 
Now we got some downhill. Loving that. What a day. This has just been beautiful. Such a lovely trail. Little ups and little downs. Could not have picked a, a better afternoon to be riding along this. Late September. Just stunningly beautiful. Another day in paradise. snack. While our route was ultimately leading us to the Canal du Garonne, roughly the same elevation as the city of Bordeaux, Camus had directed us on this trail that took us high up into the hills above the Garonne Valley, through verdant woodlands and sun-drenched vineyards of exquisite beauty. We were grateful that we followed their lead. Bonjour. There's a picnic table if you want to stop. You could rest. I wouldn't mind eating a little bit. As good as we'll get. So pretty, I can't believe it. At some point we left the rail trail, taking roads that had us climbing hill after hill, revealing a painter's landscape in all directions. It probably sounds more than a little repetitive, but this was one of the finest days of cycling we've ever experienced. The perfect autumn temperatures, the landscapes always changing and always gorgeous, and the sense of unveiling discovery, all made for an absolutely stunning afternoon. Can you believe this stuff? Unbelievable, just so beautiful. Wow. I know we got a tight little climb coming up, but boy, these little drops are freaking gorgeous. Take a right at the stop. There's a little drop and then we got a big hill coming up. It's gonna kick our butt. I'll tell you that right now. We're tired. Without question, the constant ups and downs were really starting to wear on us. And the top of every hill seemed to point towards another higher climb. It's 
so beautiful. So beautiful. Hey there, baby. Hi. Isn't that pretty? Oh my God, it's incredible. A lot of work, but boy, payoff is sure something, huh? Yep. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Here we are in France. Can you believe it? <laughs> Ooh, Lordy. Some gorgeous country. We keep going, baby. Let's see at the top. What's our grade? Six. Six? Six. Lion bastards. Shade feels nice. Five. Oh, it's so much easier. But our moods were sunny as the day kept revealing one beautiful vista after another. By the time we reached the top of our final climb, we were spent. Just in time for a luxurious descent back into the valley of the Garonne, into Castet and Dort, and our room for the evening. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh, yeah. We made it over the pass. Now we're uh, gonna head down into the valley of the Garonne and towards our starting point on the canal, Canal du Garonne. What a day. What an incredible, fabulous day. How much more of this can two people take? Stark contrast from what the outside of these buildings look like. The insides are modern and nice. Good kitchen, great for cooking. Got a uh, washing machine. Nobody seems to have dryers. We're pretty spoiled as Americans. Bonjour.